So you know how Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion and Dolly and Leonardo AI, all these fucking image generators came out over the last year or maybe two years at this point. Either way, uh, they're very good at generating images, arguably better than, definitely me, better than a lot of people. Well, uh, today I found something on Twitter that was a bit surprising to me. I kind of knew there were weak versions of this, but not as good. Uh, text to 3D. Uh, it is here. It's not like staggeringly making insane level models, but for like small or even medium assets, not bad. Uh, Luma, AI, Genie. Let, let's just see what this thing is capable of. So we're going to start off simple. A green apple, just to kind of show how this works. It's going to generate four options eerily, like uh, Mid Journey, and the comparisons uh, don't stop there. Um, it's going to generate not four images, but actually, yep, uh, four 3D models that we can actually, like, modify even further. Uh, let me open one of these. So it seems to have actually cleaned up that thing I was just talking about, like the floaties. There's a bit of a texture thing, but you could argue that's just a uh, flaw of the Apple. We have an Apple model, and of course, uh, we are able to download it, which is great. Uh, so for now, rip all your free models before they make you pay for this thing. Uh, basically, your viewer has multiple material modes, so you can like check it out. I'm wondering if it's actually making, it seems like it's making normal maps and shit like that. Well, and then there are two features on top of that, and then let's actually make interesting things. The first one is variations. You can imagine that this is kind of like mid-journeys. You pick an image, and then you kind of converge on the one you want. So I'm using this as a seed, basically, to make four similar apples. So why would this be useful? Well, first of all, if you don't like your apple model, you get a new one. But what if you're making a basket of apples? Well, then you'd use this uh, variation feature. Additionally, if I go to my creations, you can now see we have these um, apples. So I'm just going to open one up. We can also have it go through like a second pass of data uh, using this high res, which I'll try in a second. But just to note, it seems like there's also low, medium, and high settings. I don't know if that stands for uh, the poly count or the texture resolution, but it stands for something. Let's make this high res and see how much better it becomes. Okay, so pro tip, if you're kind of just watching it rotate forever, I, I must have done that for 15 minutes or something, just refresh the page. Apparently it was done the entire time, but look at that. Higher quality, you say? Yeah, I, I could believe that. It kind of looks super noisy, to be honest, but uh, we could download it. Let's actually do that. Okay, so it's downloaded. I'm going to extract the thing. I know. Thrilling. Great, great content. Uh, let us import the FBX, and I put it in the downloads folder. I think in this folder. Import and model, and there you go. You got an apple with... Actual, whoa. Nice geometry. Huh. I did not know it would come topologized, like, really, really nicely. Interesting. And let's see the uh, textures. So, in the UV editing, it actually did a fairly solid unwrap, all things considered. Made a uh, normal. Made roughness. And I guess metallic would just be pure black. That is actually quite impressive. So this time, let's kind of give it a curveball, something that doesn't really exist. So maybe like a chair with blonde hair. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I guess I'm picturing like a wooden chair and on the top is like a bunch of hair draped down the back of it or something. Okay, it's, it's interpreted it. None of these are perfect, but it definitely kind of captured the spirit of it. Okay, these are proper cursed. You know, I, I can't argue with the results. That That is something. Okay, let us try something that does exist, but is a bit harder. So maybe a wooden doll of a girl with red hair. But more than that, she is holding a hatchet. So I'm, I'm imagining kind of like Wendy from the restaurant as a uh, doll holding a nice little hatchet. 
So th this will be interesting because this is like multiple instructions consecutively. So it nailed the wooden thing and a hatchet maybe. Oh, okay. Now it's doing something like half decent. Again, I'd imagine that every single time you'd have to do cleanup, but just as kind of like a base. This isn't too bad. And I guess this also isn't like necessarily always the final result because it does a second round of cleanup. I mean, honestly, if you're making kind of like a doll wooden doll kind of like stop motion thing that isn't too bad a i don't really know the name of any tank so i'm just gonna say a russian tank you know it's probably gonna generate a tank i don't know whether or not it has russian influence just from looking at it because i'm not a history buff oh my fucking god 3d modelers they're coming for you Okay, this is looking a bit blobby. <laughs> I'm going to have it go through the high res and try that, like, refresh trick. Oh, finally. After a century of waiting. And maybe they're going to make me wait a bit longer. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, impressive, yet equally not impressive. But uh, what I'm more interested in is the uh, geometry. So I know I haven't really contributed, yeah, contributed even with that sentence, anything of value uh, to your knowledge base, except uh, for the fact that this exists. So I'm going to make a link in the description. Nothing, you know, what, what, what am I going to tell you about this? That you can type something in and it comes out, whatever. Okay, see ya.